Almost everyone can trace their family roots back to the farm. Yet as society becomes more urbanized, many of us have lost touch with the values and work ethic farm life promotes. Today, we're going to feature a group of people who have dedicated their lives to making sure future generations have some of the same values and ethics best learned by working with animals. We begin today with a gentleman who, if you've ever run in rodeo circles, you'll certainly know. And if you don't, you may still recognize his distinctive voice. Our Lisa Hines profiles Clem McSpadden, an Oklahoman whose life is taking him from the rodeo ring to the halls of Congress. Fourth International Finals Rodeo. He's from On any given Saturday night in rodeo arenas around the country, it's Clem McSpadden's voice you may hear. For more than 50 years, McSpadden has announced rodeos from big to small and plenty of in between. I'm probably prouder of the longevity of few rodeos when you look at something inside means something to you. I started announcing uh, Veneta 1953. McSpadden's interest in rodeo comes naturally. A great nephew of the late Will Rogers, McSpadden has always worked in and around animals. And while best known for his rodeo work, McSpadden's life is as diverse as the state he's so proud of. And I, I could never find a niche. <clears throat> I'd go to rodeo and they'd say, there comes that darn politician. I'd go to the Capitol and say, well, here comes that darn cowboy. I, I never knew where to fit. But I met a lot of wonderful people in both professions. First elected to the Oklahoma Senate in 1954, McSpadden's political career eventually led him into the halls of Congress and later into lobbying. But despite such political success, it's his wit and wisdom he imparts that's made him a living legend. I'd like to talk to you about two things. I've been in two arenas in my life. I've been in the political arena and the rodeo arena. And there's an amazing similarity in both of them. They both got a lot of bull. But when you go to the, when you go through rodeo arena, you get the real bull. It's much more genuine than the bull that we, we see at the state capitol. Which is why Representative so Don Arms here. sponsored an event in, in his so honor. I appreciate Clem coming and doing this. Let's give Clem one more round of applause. He did the cattleman's commercials for years and years and years, even after they weren't supposed to do his cattleman's commercials anymore. Hungry for steak? Not just any steak, but a perfect steak. Our steaks here at Cattleman's Steakhouse have been recognized by Gourmet Magazine. He's just such a recognizable voice. I mean, Atwoods has used him for several years, and you know, it's just, he's just a great voice, and he's so recognizable. Now, during the event, McSpadden shared some of his fondest memories from an easy chair on stage. I'm older than anybody here, so you can't dispute them because you weren't alive when I tell them. Through the years, McSpadden has worked with the best known rodeo cowboys in the business and been honored by nearly every major rodeo organization in the nation, including the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City. This is not an induction. This is an honor that is truly the highest of honors I think that we can give to somebody because it's saying you you have the characteristics and the ideals of what we are founded on, what our foundation is based on, and everything that we've built ourselves around. You, you have those characteristics. You, um, you believe in the ideals of preserving the American West. And while he enjoys the honors, it's his memories of all the cowboy greats he enjoys the most. I've been fortunate enough to meet several presidents and lots lots of U.S. senators and rank presidents, da 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 The most genuine people I've ever met are rodeo people, period, over and out. Freckles Brown had an eighth grade education. I wouldn't trade the friendship I had with that man for anything in the world. Loved him like a brother. Well, on April 12th, Clem McSpadden will be honored with the Chester A. Reynolds Memorial Award, an award named after the museum's founder, who not so coincidentally worked with McSpadden on everything from the museum's design to its mission. To find out more about what will be a big event, head to our website where we have reservation information.